Today I am going to be going through my finished smash book. It's kind of finished, I mean, there's a few odd pages which I could probably add to. But yeah, it's pretty much done. I'm, I've got another smash book out to start. But I won't be doing any more smash book session videos or anything like that in this smash book. I know there's quite a few of you who have been waiting to see inside. The elastic band I have around it at the moment is from Hema and all that's doing is stopping it from becoming too massive sitting on my desk. As you can see it is quite full. I didn't start off by saying to myself you know this is what I want to do, I'm going to try and get this as big as I possibly can. That wasn't my goal at all, it's just happened that way. It's probably a good job that I stopped when I did because on the binding this piece of paper here has the spiral on it and obviously it's meant to be stuck to the cover but mine has actually started to rip off of that. Okay so with the elastic band off obviously you can see that this has got wider already. When it's sitting on my desk obviously it's standing upright like this um, and with the elastic band it just kind of compresses it all together a little bit and doesn't take up as much room. I actually started the smash book on the 23rd of January 2013. When I first got the smash book I didn't really get into it straight away. I added a few things to it. I got into it last summer properly like I found my way of smash booking I enjoyed it so yeah I kind of that was that was when I really started smash booking yeah I just want to point out I'm not going to show every single page because some of the pages I started before I started YouTube and obviously I didn't think that I'd be sharing it with anybody so there are some like personal things on there like addresses and stuff like that I'll show you both pages that I've done recently and also pages that I did back when I started out and you you'll be able to see quite a difference. So yeah, first of all, I chose to leave this little thing in. When I first got it, this was probably one of the first things I did. I put a pocket in the front, and there's also one at the back as well. And I just kept a few things in here that I was planning to add. Um, these aren't real keys, they're like, they're just for decoration. But yeah, these are things that I've never really gone back to, they're just sat in there at the moment. Uh, this was probably one of the first things that I added to. When I first started out using my Smashbook, there was no real process to adding things to the page it was just when i found something i would add it to a page i also want to point out now i didn't do the pages in order so i jumped about a lot so yeah again there's another couple of earlier pages this was going to be a fish page i just had people um draw me fishes and i added them to the page these are probably the first two pages which are from the past few months i did i think i did a video on both of them i think i did <laughs> um yeah, there's still areas which I'd probably add little bits and pieces to. At the moment, I just haven't found anything that goes there. So I will probably come back to a lot of the pages in here and just add little bits and pieces. The theme of this page was just orange stuff. This was one of the first pages that I started earlier on. I've kind of gradually added to it over the months. Again, I think I did a video on this page as well. Um, and since then I've added a lot more to the page. I'm pretty sure I did a video on this page as well. I didn't do one on this page. Um, there's still space to add things on here. A lot of people obviously smash book to document events. I do get quite a few questions saying like what do the pages mean to you and stuff and obviously I don't journal a lot on them like I don't write loads on them um, and for me a lot of this smash book especially was it was more I, I did it more for the process rather than the documenting side of things. It's the fact that I could just sit down with a pile of stuff that I've collected over the past few weeks or months I could just sit there and like create a page from them um, and that was like the satisfying part for me that was the bit that I enjoyed and that is that's pretty much what I used the Smashbook for I mean there's a few pages like this which you know these are tickets from when I went to the South of England show that was more like documenting and you know keeping my tickets and stuff but then I did add random things on the page because it was again the process of creating and that's kind of the main theme throughout the uh, smash book again this was one of my earlier pages it's kind of it's a bit messy i could have ripped them up and you know redone them but i didn't want to do that because it just kind of shows a before and after of how my skills have developed i suppose i'm sure a lot of you will recognize these pages because i've either photographed them and posted them on instagram or i have done a smash book session on them i also get quite a few people saying to me you know, why do you cover up the background? Isn't the point of a smash book that they have the pattern backgrounds that you're meant to see and, you know, work with? For me, the pattern backgrounds is kind of like an icebreaker. I do find it quite difficult to start a blank page, like to 
to sit down and create something on a blank page, I find that quite intimidating and a lot more difficult to create something on. I pretty much covered the whole of this page up. I did keep a little bit of the page showing up here, but yeah, it's just whatever works with the page really. There's a page which I do really like the pattern or, you know, like the image that's on it. I will try and work around it, but a lot of the time I don't worry about them that much. This is probably one of my favourite spreads at the moment, especially this page. I love it just because of the colours. When I'm adding pages to this Smashbook, um, some of them end up being total rubbish and some of them end up being something that I really like at the end of it. But I never know which it's going to be until I finish it, obviously. But I think that is the thing that I need to remember, is I'm not doing this to impress anyone, I'm not doing it to create something amazing, I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it. I had quite a few things left over from Christmas that I didn't want to get rid of, so I kept them all and I do have quite a few Christmas pages in here. This page is more documenting an event rather than random. This was a trip to Cornwall. We surprised my family last April. This was just a little welcome tag. And then in here, there's just a few receipts and like we had a pub quiz and stuff. So yeah, my like documenting of events in here pretty much goes as far as that. You know, I'll collect a few things from one event and I'll make a page from it. This was one of my earlier page spreads. I was just playing about with a few letters and stuff. Yeah, I just, I just basically added few of my favourite things. I'm covering up a picture of my boyfriend here because I don't know if he wants to be in this video or not. This page, again, another early one and this I was obviously trying to find things that kind of fit together like Tetris. <laughs> yeah, it's, I was pretty much playing about with different ideas I suppose and trying to work out how I wanted to use this Smashbook. Here, this page I did do a video on and it, originally I just stuck some train tickets down. More recently I've decided that I didn't want that and I wanted to add more to it. So I found a piece of acetate from when I was at school, from a school project. And I also found another few things from, um, from the same time as well and I've just added that to this page. I feel like these pages are kind of in between my more recent pages and my beginning pages. I was kind of finding my smashbooking style a little better here. They're still kind of random and they're not as busy as my more recent pages. <laughs> this was actually a Christmas page from 2013. really like this page, it's busy, the colours I love. It was just really enjoyable to put together. I did do videos on both of these pages I think. Um, these pages I didn't do videos on. This page was kind of documenting a strange pizza express addiction over the summer of 2014. We actually went so much that they recognised us each time we went in and we had this table that we like to sit at so we kind of we just came in and they just kind of led us to the table. This page I'm yet to add to, this is actually I added this very recently, it's from my best friend who lives in Canada. She sent me a belated Christmas present um, but she's Jewish, so she didn't have any Christmas stuff. So she decorated um, and wrapped the present in Hanukkah themed things. But yeah, I kind of attached the envelope like this and in the envelope is the card that she made for me. And then underneath, I've left space on here and here for when I get photos of me wearing the shirt that she sent me and stuff like that. So like I can add to that page a little later on. This is kind of an interesting page. Um, I spent a long time adding to this. This was probably one of the first pages that I started. Um, obviously it's stamps from all over the world. This was where I added any stamps which I could peel off like fully. Um, from my pen pals and I love how this looks. It did get quite frustrating towards the end because obviously there's less and less space so I had to find a stamp which was, you know, it would fit that space. This again was documenting a little event. I didn't write much, obviously. This mainly has business cards and stuff from two shops that a couple of my friends run. It was quite bare and then the other day I went in with some gems and these little flower brads which are from Paper Chase and I just kind of filled in some of the gaps and you know I didn't want to add anything more to this page really. I had this little minion that one of my pen pals made me ages ago and I've never wanted to have it on my keys because it's 
it's quite delicate and I didn't want it to break or anything. So I've added it in here. This page probably has still more to add. I don't know if any of you guys geocache at all. I'm not going to explain it right now. Um, <laughs> I think Google's probably better at that than me. But yeah, if you do know what I'm talking about, these were some of the logs that I got full from my geocaches and I decided to keep them and stick them in here and I've kind of kept it nature themed going on. Um, but yeah, this was one of my earlier pages that I've kind of gone in later on and added to. And then here, this is still kind of a work in progress, but it's something that I can add to. And then that is pretty much it. There's not much else. I think I'm probably going to stick those pages together. I kind of have to go through it and kind of clean it up a little bit. But for now, it's done. Um, I'm happy with it. It's It definitely shows progress that I've made. Um, I did rip out pages from it. Um, I felt like it would have got a little bit dangerous <laughs> if I had filled in any more pages and a couple of pages that I couldn't actually pull out I glued together instead of obviously adding more <laughs> to the book. So yeah that is my first ever complete smash book. I hope you guys liked it. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to store this but yeah after adding to this smash book I've realised that I actually want to split my two kind of styles of smash booking. So I'm actually going to have two books on the go. I'm still going to have the kind of I'm still going to have this kind of random bits and pieces I collect and just doing it for the enjoyment of doing it. That sort of smash booking I'm going to keep in this smash book. Um, and this is the nostalgic smash book. It's the brown binder. And then I'm actually going to try this la di -da, um, journal for the kind of documenting events. Um, I feel like my two styles of smash booking one is more art um, and one is more obviously documenting my life and events that go on and stuff. So yeah, that's how my little smash book journey is going to go on from now. I will most likely post more detailed photos and stuff on my Instagram. So yeah, if you want to see that, my Instagram is mygreencow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you very soon.